Man, it just seems like yesterday, where an undersized, overlooked safety who can hit hard and always had a chip on his shoulder came to St. Thomas simply looking for a chance. A chance to play college football at the Division I level. You see, the original plan for Marv Santana was to get an associate's degree at the North Dakota College of Science and Business, and then go back to Montana and take over the general store in his hometown with his father. But that wasn't his true dream, because what he really wanted was to play football. And man, did he really want to keep that dream alive. So when St. Thomas offered him a scholarship as a new FBS program, Marv jumped at that opportunity. And let's just say that the last two years have been really eventful. But despite the stats that he put up in the last two years and an insane highlight tape, the NFL never decided to come calling. Not during the draft, not even to come in as an undrafted free agent, no less. And with the XFL just closing its doors, every day became painfully clear that his playing days may just be over and he'll have to come home and help with the family business after graduation. Until one day, he got a call from a small school out west that just like St. Thomas at the FBS level, they haven't had success in years. The conversation wasn't that long, maybe a few minutes at most. But this phone call though, changes the course of his life. And just like that, ushers in a brand new chapter Welcome to the story of the coaching journey of Marv Santana. What's going on guys, this is John Jake Gaming on the mic here and welcome starting a brand new series here on this channel as y'all could probably already tell it's the coaching journey of Marv Santana. Now if you guys remember Marv Santana was a custom recruit for us for the St. Thomas Dynasty that I have as another series on this channel and he just graduated actually very recently and even though he wasn't going to the NFL or even the XFL you know it was simply too good to pass up you know the coaching journey the journey for Marv Santana cannot simply end with the St. Thomas Dynasty so here he is he's gonna be a brand new coach now you can see from that intro he is starting from the bottom of the coaching ladder 
but he's definitely excited about getting it in man so i'm certainly excited for that now as you guys can see from the intro we are going to go to idaho in order to uh, coach the squad up and on top of that we're going uh not even to be a head coach we're going to be an offensive coordinator so we're definitely going to be starting from the bottom here and then i know it says that they're in the Sun Belt conference but that's because there's a there's supposed to be 10 teams in the Sun Belt in real life and to try to you know build that as much as possible um you know i added a few teams that were in independence and idaho was one of them so for for this dynasty idaho is going to be in the Sun Belt which I think they were at one point, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Marv Santana, he's going to be the offensive coordinator. So it's going to be exciting. I'm really excited to see the direction and how uh, our coach does things. Um, you know, see Marv Santana, see him succeed as a coach like, like he did succeed as an actual player for St. Thomas Dynasty. What we're going to do is we're going to allow the CPU to recruit completely until we become a head coach we'll pop in every once in a while to see how recruiting is going for idaho not that i don't think we're going to be staying here for too terribly long but you know since we're also the um head coach you know we're the uh, offensive coordinator uh we're going to go ahead and rock with uh whatever idaho's playbook is or at least the playbook for our uh, our head ball coach and uh tim jackson and I'm um, just just looking at our boy Jim Jackson. You know he runs a pro offense, and then he also runs a four free. So, you know per usual that means we're also going to run the Idaho playbook while we're while Tim Jackson is the head coach here for us. A look at our schedule for our first season as a coach at the collegiate level. Uh, we have two bye weeks in a row, but then we start with three games in a row in the Kibbe Dome playing Fresno State. Army and Temple then we'll go on the road the first time to play Georgia State home against Arkansas State on the road to play Washington State as a rival which I honestly didn't know that home against Texas State two more road games against South Alabama and Troy home game against Yola Lafayette that's going to be senior day and then finish up with road games against New Mexico State and UL Monroe it's not a good strength of schedule but it'll help us you know at least give us a little springboard for you know what's coming to next for our boy Mars Santana but that's gonna do it here next time out I'll play the first couple of games of Marv Santana's coaching career. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Make sure you leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you had to be brand new. This is John J Gaming on the mic and I hope you all have a wonderful day guys. Take care everybody.